Winter is coming. We know what's coming with it. Yes, winter is coming and with it are coming a lot of opportunities in the world of open source and development. So without further ado, let's begin. Number 13, we have the Forsythia Code Heat Coding Contest. It is organized by the Forsythia Open Source Community. Uh, it is a program that is divided in a bi monthly based four coding rounds, which begins from October and runs till June the consecutive year. Here, generally, the applicants are mentored by contributors, developers, and professors from various technical fields on a variety of technical and exciting projects. The registration starts from September and continues till early October. For more details, check out the link in the description below. Number 12 in the list, we have the FSF Internship Program, which is organized by the Free Software Foundation. If you have a knack about web development, system development, networking, or software licensing and want to intern at the Free Software Foundation, you can consider the FSF internship program. Here you will get to work with the organization that sponsors the GNU Open Source Project. We will collaborate with the developers of the organizations as per your areas of interest. For the upcoming spring term, you can apply by the month of November and the program will last for about 12 weeks. For more details, check out the link in the description below. On number 11 in the list, we have the season of KDE, which is a program hosted by the KDE community, offering an opportunity to everyone to participate in coding and non coding based projects that benefits the KDE ecosystem. Every year it is held in winter from December to April, where the application starts from early December and selected candidates start working on the projects from January up till April. At the end of the event, certificates and swags are issued to the successful candidates as a token of appreciation. For more details, check out the link in the description below. On number 10 in the list, we have the MLH Fellowship Program, which is organized by the Major League Hacking Foundation, a global community for student developers. It is a 12 week remote program wherein various students collaborate on many exciting open source projects that align with their personal interests and as well as the general requirements of the industry. The application starts in winter from December and the program starts from January and goes on till May. The program has three, core, three tracks which include the Explorer track, the Open Source track and the Externship track. Each of the track has some basic requirements which include that an applicant should be above the age of 18. They should be able to commit 30 hours per week for this program. They should know how to code in at least one language. They should be a proficient English speaker and should have access to the good video quality internet connection. For more details, you can check out the link in the description below. Coming up at number 9 is the Outreachy Internship Program, which is a 3 month remote internship program that aims to support diversity among the open source world. This program gets a lot of applications from all over the world every year, but only a handful of them are selected. The main focus of this program is programming, documentation and project marketing among various other fields. This program is solely for women and underrepresented communities. The stipend at the end of this program is 5500 USD. The timeline of this program starts from February where they can register themselves and the registration is closed by March. The interns are announced by late April or May beginning and the inter period starts from May and ends by August. Google Summer of Earth Engine also abbreviated as SOEE is a research program for Indian University students and researchers who get a chance to work with the country's leading research organizations working on environment, conservation, water resources and various agricultural domains over a span of three months and also get paid for that. If you are selected into the program, you will be working on a project 
that uses Google Earth Engine under the mentorship of a dedicated mentor from the parent organization. At the end of this program, you receive a certificate of recognition and also special Earth Engine swags. The registration for this program begins by mid-March and ends by mid-April and the list of selected students will be released by 30th of April. Coming up at number 7 is the Open Mainframe Project Mentorship Program. A mainframe is a large capacity computer system which has a processing power that is superior to PCs and mid-range computers. The Open Mainframe project has its very own open source program with the aim of teaching its mentees a lot more about the mainframe project. Now in this program, the mentees contribute to open source projects that make it easier for infrastructural applications to run on the mainframe. This in fact helps a lot of people in the future and is quite an overwhelming fact. The timeline for the program is that the registration start by the mid of Jan and end by the mid of February. So if you are interested in the mainframe technology, do check this out. Coming up at number 6 is the Hyperledger Mentorship Program. If you are into blockchain, this is definitely for you. This mentorship program gives you a complete insight into the Hyperledger development platform. The mentors who are interested to participate in this program will be submitting their projects so that you can look for a project and find your niche. You will be allotted mentors who are quite active in the Hyperledger developer community. The registrations for this mentorship program begin by the end of March and end by the start of May. On number 5, we have Linux Kernel Mentorship Program. It offers a structured remote learning opportunity for the people who aspire to become a Linux kernel developer. People who have already experienced as a Linux kernel developer mentor the volunteering mentees and help them becoming a contributor to this Linux kernel. This program is supported by Community Bridge and it is a remote learning program. That means that you don't need to physically go anywhere to become a part of this program. Coming to the timeline, the spring term has an estimated duration from March 1st to 31st of May. Menti application opens from January 15th to 12th of February and the application review process begins from 15th of February to 26th of February. On number 4, we have Google Summer of Code. This program was initiated by Google itself and currently it has completed 16 years of its journey. It is a program that aims to promote open source software development amongst university students. Firstly, the open source organizations apply to Google and only after the eligible organizations are selected, Google opens that application form to all the students. But bear in mind that you must not be an employee of Google or even intern at Google for you to be eligible for this program. And yes, it is definitely a paid program. And as for the latest information that we have currently, it provides 1500 USD that is currently 1,10,000 Indian rupees. So it is definitely a program to consider. On number three, we have Rail School Summer of Code. This is a global program aimed at bringing more diversity to this open source world. It welcomes all the women and non-binary applicants who want to gain a footing in the world of coding and who want to further expand their knowledge and skills. The focus is on advanced beginners who want to enter into the world of coding as a full-time programmer. And coming to the duration, the duration of this program is from March to the month of September. On number two, we have Google Season of Docs. Sometimes we notice that some open source projects, even though good and helpful, are not really well documented. Google Season of Docs tries to address this issue and tries to solve it. It is a program initiated by Google where technical writers and open source organizations come together. The technical writers write the documentation for those open source projects in need and for which they also get paid by Google. 
but you have to remember that in order to be eligible for this program you must be aged 18 or above otherwise you will not be eligible for this program the application process begins from february and the whole process continues till the month of november to december finally we have girl script summer of code the application process starts from the month of march from the name it may sound like this program is for female candidates only but it's not it is open for people of any gender and any age groups and it is a global program throughout the program the participants contribute to different projects under the guidance of experienced mentors and not just that top participants also get exciting goodies and opportunities from this program so those were the 13 programs presented to you by the GNU Linux users group some of the dates mentioned in the programs were tentative taken from the previous year schedule and this year also they might be occurring in the same time so for you developers out there keep an eye out for these programs you can reach out to us on our social media handles for any further queries you can refer to the links in the description for more more details about any of the programs and thank you for watching the video until then may the source be with you